new videos every day. Life, wisdom, psyche truth, massage. This is Athena Jezik, and today we're going to work from the floor a little bit to benefit those of you that don't have a table or those of you that aren't in it professionally who just want to do it with your friends and family. Uh, one of the things that is important is that the person on the floor is comfortable. Some kind of a little padding or cushion is nice. It's not a good idea necessarily to work from a bed because the bed sinks down and you don't get the nice solidness underneath. So this is similar to the table. The other thing is I'm going to explain somewhat how the mechanics need to be for the person doing the massage because there's uh, it's a lot harder to work from the floor for the therapist. So we'll start with the back and um, basically I'm just on my knees. So you'll be able to see how the body is going to work a little bit. This is where it's important to have good strength in your core if you're the one doing the work. Okay, I'm just applying the oil. Now basically I work similar to what I would do from the table. So I'm going to start up here and begin to work. Now here because there's no face cradle the neck is turned so the muscles are going to be in a little bit different position. There'll be a shortening and a lengthening but you can still basically work the same way spreading open the trapezius into the shoulder blades and then you can glide down alongside of the spine working through bringing your hands back up and spreading out and again this is like a I usually do this three times no reason just that's what I do I tend to move outside I do one closer to the spine and then more in the middle of the muscle and then on the edge so that's really where I get my three from the neck is very differently placed when it's turned so you'll be able to notice just how different that is you can't really work the neck very well when it's turned okay so then to go down into the arms you have to reposition yourself by coming over to the side and then beginning to work outward in this direction around the shoulder blade so all of this technique is really the same uh, similar I should say to what you're doing I can already feel in my body the strain of the different positioning that has to be done and it's best to be on your knees if possible high on your knees so you can move your body around there's a little bit of twisting that goes on and then of course we can rub back upward and then working back down sliding the hands and repositioning myself now here I tend to put my leg up because then I can get a little bit more um, of a direction on the muscles it's a little bit easier to get when I'm higher than when I'm lower down and then working up work across lowering myself down but still staying fairly mobile still staying in a way that I can 
move with the action of the massage work. So this is the basic routine that I've done many times over. I've been doing this same basic routine for my entire massage career. It's a good routine because it does cover everything. It moves from muscle to muscle very smoothly. And it, it just covers it all. It doesn't leave anything out. And I do recommend that you find some routine that you can work because that way you get both sides of the body equally. And if you have a routine, pretty soon that becomes very uh, much part of what you do and you don't have to think too much through it so you can concentrate on the different sensations that are under your hands. That's how you begin to work and understand the body more at an intuitive level. So we're just working there and back up and down. Okay, and then we'll step to the other side. Same thing. And of course, this routine is, is somewhat modified. Not a whole lot, but there is some modifications happening here. the upper, pushing upward on these muscles along the hip, right along the hip edge, and then up we go. This is another threesome thing that I do when I go up the spine. The spine has a little bit different movement when you're going upward or downward. up across fiber of the erector spinae. And then back up. Now for the vibration along the vertebrae. You won't be able to start up at the base of the skull, so you'll start down here about C7 and vibrate down. And then we can go back up. And vibrate down. And again, vibrating down and back up. This is a little bit different of what I normally do when I'm working from a table. Okay, and I'm going to switch to the other side and reach up here, going between each vertebrae.
down to the sacrum, the SI joint. And then on the floor, I do the body wrapping from both sides, just pushing down, downward, downward, down to the ribs. And then you can wrap back up, pulling it up, up, upward, and upward. And a nice finish by just bringing it up. And then little brushes to sweep. Okay, so I hope that gave you some ideas for working on the floor.